Do you guys um, tape the camera, tape your, um, put tape over the camera on your computer when you're not using it? Mine's always closed. No, I, I have a little, I have a little slide on mine. It's like a little window that you stick on and it's like a peephole. You know, like at the nightclub where like when the 50s movies when they knock and they like open up the slide. Yeah. I have one of those over my camera. What's the password? Do you seriously? <laughs> yeah. It's like an accessory you bought at the Apple store. It just goes on your MacBook Pro and you just slide it over. No, Nike sent it to me. It's got a little Nike swoosh on it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ball it's awesome. Because um, every time this, this software we use, Riverside FM, every time we're done using it, the green light on my camera never goes off. So it started, and, and I know it's because of the software. Something's not turning off with my camera, but I've been getting paranoid lately. Like two days Sketch. after we do a podcast, I walk by and my green light's on. I'm like, got time to restart my computer. <laughs> I just shut, I, my, my computer always goes down when I'm done with it. Like when after we get off this call, like, I turn the, I, turn, I, I close my laptop. And you don't open it again until when you climb into bed. <laughs> I don't. I don't open it again until uh, until the next week. Until the next podcast. <laughs> I hardly ever use that laptop. Hardly ever. <laughs> when you guys go out on dates, who, who, do you guys ever? Did you ever let the women pay? Absolutely. Sorry, I don't mean let, but I mean Absolute. let equality. <laughs> I never ever let the woman pay I could have like six dollars in my pocket and the bill be five ninety nine, and I'm like well I guess I gotta pay the whole thing what do you say Matt you're like you would go out on a date and you'd be like we'll do this Dutch no like I, I think I always did pay but like would I let the woman pay yeah absolutely like oh yeah like okay like I, I told Sammy I was like like it was kind of a joke, but it was kind of serious. I was like, "Hey, like if you want to propose to me, I'll take your last name." Like <laughs> equality, you know. <laughs> like I, I don't give a shit about like. I hate saying it, but like gender roles. It's like no, we're a team. Like even now, Sam and I, it's like no, we're a team. Like, who cares about where the money's coming from or who has what chore or anything? It's just like. You're better at that, so you do that, and I'm better at this, so I'll do this. Um, so, I mean, like, even now, it's like half, I just have the memory of a goldfish, so it's like half the time I forget my wallet. Uh, and, and sometimes, one of those Sammy, guys, one of like those guys. Bill, I have friends oh, like yeah, you. I have, I have a oh, lot yeah, of friends man. like I you. I save so much money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, ha like some, some of the times a bill will come, and Sammy will just be like, oh, I got this. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I, don't, I don't mean so much now, although it's funny as you say that, I realized for the last year since I've been fired, my wife is the breadwinner. <laughs> People would always be like, I'd be like, who cares if the woman's the breadwinner? They're like, you don't know, you don't know. But I, now I do know, and I've never thought twice about it. <laughs> um, but, uh, but I mean, like before, let's say you were in high school and you were going to a movie with the girl, would you have paid? Yeah, I always. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm sure I would have. I'm sure I did. Josh, Josh, you I, don't want to participate uh, in this I, conversation. I this is about relationships my, and girls. Yeah, you don't do this one. You don't right, do this. You're one. You're right. But my grandpa did t like teach me something. You know, like he was always like. Typically, when we went out to dinner with my grandpa, like no matter who was with us, he always paid. And I always like thought that that was um, I don't know if I like thought it was cool or whatever, but I just like I respected it, and I've kind of tried to like carry that on with my like especially with my family like anytime i'm like going out to dinner with like my mom and my sisters or anybody like i always grab the bill like the whole time mm -hmm. it's like i'm i make you know i do well and you know and so it's like for me it's just like almost like like this is how i can take care of them a little bit so yeah see i i think there's a big distinction between when i was in college and i had 84 dollars to my name uh, and now where it's like, yeah, we've all done, we've all done well. I can afford it. And like when I'm going out nine times out of 10, when I'm going out to a meal, I'm not going out for the meal. I'm going out to see friends and to have a good time. And f for me to have a good time, I want them to have a good time. And I don't want them to pay like when I'm enjoying the company. It's like, no, like we're friends. You're doing me a favor by being here, by coming with me. And I don't want you to have to go into your pocket for this. Um, so yeah, like if I, if I'm going out now, yeah, I, I try to always grab the bill. Um, I've never back, had back any in cheap the college, friends. What? 
I've never not, had any cheap friends. Yeah, all cheap. your friends worked at HQ. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even before then, like I don't like 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 I don't have like my friends always come to my house with some. Even when I was a little kid, they come to your. They would come to my house. Like I never like. What about, I just when, never what, had about any cheap what about friends. when you were you know you didn't have a home when you're homeless. You didn't have any cheap friends. Oh, then? then, 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 no one's cheap. Everyone's everyone's got more money than you, so no one can be cheap, right? That's true. Like they yeah. give you a book, cup of rice. But I mean, like, like even as a kid, if I was at the arcade and like this one, the kid next to me had two quarters left, or I had two quarters left, I would give him my quarter. I wouldn't be like, "Fuck you, I got two. Watch me play." <laughs> I never had friends like that. I never had asshole friends. I had a buddy until, who until this podcast. <laughs> I had a buddy who, man, like. I always, I kind of always worked, uh, even since I was, uh, I had I, my first job. I was like fourteen. I like lied on a, um, I lied on my application and told them I was sixteen so I could work. And I, you know, made a living during the summertime. And you know, I always kind of had a little bit of a cash. Never, I never was like, I would not call myself like rich or anything like that. But I, I worked and I had money so I could spend it. Um, and I always had a buddy who would come out, man, and we'd like get through like wherever we were at and eating our food, and then he'd be like. Oh man, I forgot my wallet every time. And I'm just like, bro, <laughs> like you're ridiculous. It was, was it uh, a joke or was he serious? I mean, it was serious. Yeah, he would, he, but he would do it every single time. And it got like to the point where like I'd have to call him. I called him out all, all the time. He doesn't do it anymore for the most part. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm still good buddies with him. And uh, yeah, I, I still bring it up often though. I'm like, dude. So, so my, dude, my buddy and I. My buddy and I, like, I would just, like, forget my wallet or whatever. And, like, as we're getting in the car, I would be like, ooh, I don't have my wallet. And he'd be like, oh, all right, like, I'll, I'll get you. And, like, it, it would happen back and forth. And then it became a joke of, like, just just to be a pain in the ass and, like, get to the restaurant and be like, yo, I forgot my wallet. And I definitely left it intentionally. And then it started backfiring because we'd both like be at the line at Chipotle. <laughs> and like, I'd be like, yo, I forgot my wallet. He'd be like, dude, I did too. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> shit. Well, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I did have, it's funny now that you say it. I, I had this motor home and I parked it on the beach in Santa Barbara uh, on my friend's lawn who lived on the, be in, on the beach in Santa Barbara. So I had this motorhome. And I had a friend come stay with me in the motorhome. We stayed there. It was a guy. And we stayed there for like, just like, I don't know, maybe two months. And whenever, whenever, and all we did was eat pizza, drink beer, work out, and go to the beach and look at girls all day. And so when, um, whenever we'd run low, and I paid for everything. I paid for the beer. I paid for the pizza. I paid for the gym entry. And then anytime I would run low on money, I would just look on Craigslist for a job and I would get a job like filming a bar mitzvah or editing some porn or just whatever I could find, whatever loose end jobs I could find on Craigslist. Wait, is that and real? Not the editing porn part. Oh, okay. That's just to make me sound cool. But, but filming the bar mitzvahs or filming weddings or just whatever, just any, there's t there used to be tons of film jobs on Craigslist. And so you could make $300 and then that would get me through another week. So after this two months and I pay for everything, we pack up our shit and we drive back to the Bay area and we're just in conversation and he tells me his car breaks down and I'm like, Oh shit, you're fucked. What are you going to do? And he goes, Oh, oh I have $20,000 saved up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like your buddy. Yeah. <laughs> and I paid for everything for two months. And that story, that, that. It stung a little. I'm uh, yeah, I'm living hand to mouth. I'm fucking working the, the, the day jobs to pay for all our beer and pizza. And he's got 20000 He had like a $3,500 auto repair bill. And he had 20000 in the bank. He let that slip. And I'm like, okay, pal. I remember that. Okay. And so you asked for extra oh, pepperoni. The, the, the key. The, the key to saving money is just finding a friend like you that's more than happy to, to spend his money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I still didn't regret doing it, but I just thought it was a little cold. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. How about next time you get the extra cheese? Yeah. 